Hola familia, this week we're gonna work with a material that I didn't try before. It's my first attempt to Banksia pot. Um, this is a material that comes from Australia. This is actually the flower of a tree that is uh, about 10 feet tall and all these little holes is where the seeds are. Then uh, Inside it is, it should be hard as wood, more or less. And uh, well, it's a little bit of a challenge. And what we are going to do with it is this. We are going to make a goblet out of a Banksia pot. Let's do it. Well, uh, after the cut the, the two ends in the bandsaw, we are gonna mount it in bet on between centers. We mark it with a, a nail or whatever you have. This makes it a little bit easier to center the piece. So once it's marked, we can mount it in between the headstock and the tailstock. What we're gonna do is just, at the beginning is just make a cylinder the first layer is the one, the bark you can see under that there is a, uh, some kind of uh, like velvet and under the velvet is the solid material, okay? But as it's gonna be a little bit messy, but it's very dusty and there is still some seed parts on the holes, we are gonna use not just the face shield, but the dust mask. It's, uh, I mean, I don't know if this can be harmful. I don't think so, but anyway, it's a good idea to, to wear both. So then we're gonna use a, a spindle roughing gouge and we're gonna make a cylinder out of it. I'm turning at about 1600 RPMs. As you can see here now, the dark spots are the velvet I was talking about and these white things are the seeds or the seeds covers uh, we will deal with that later now we're gonna establish our tenon to mount on the on the chuck okay so remove the live center uh, spur center sorry mounted on the chuck and we are able to begin to work in our goblet first as i don't know the material very well i'm being very careful and uh, you see there are some spots where this velvet is still there so we go slowly and now we can establish a little bit of the shape and what I'm gonna do now is use a Jacob's chuck with a drill bit and establish the deep or the depth of the cup of the goblet. Now we are finishing that. Once this is done, we can begin to hollow the goblet. Okay, this is a very flexible mat material, so I'm going to use one of the tools we made in a previous video. It's perfect for this job. And I'm going to be very gentle because um, I'm seeing the vibration of the piece and always you know that when this vibration can be a catch, an easy one. So I'm just going into very gently taking my time to do it and actually the tool works very well so I also try with a, a carbide cutter but it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't work as, as good as this tool so this is going to be the tool to do all the following process the carbide cutter makes it vibrate a little bit more so 
I'm back to the tool. Okay. So once it's established the hollow, we have to. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna sand it. And to sand it, of course, we don't want to get a finger inside that cup. So what I'm gonna do? Okay. Let's see. A little bit more. I'm gonna show you it just in a minute. Okay, what I'm going to use, I'm going to establish a little bit more of the shape outside and I'm going to use a doll. I make a cut on the doll. Uh, let's see. Here we go. The, this cut helps us to hold, hold the sandpaper. You roll it around the doll and there you go. You can sand inside with no problems. You can change the grid of the sandpaper just in seconds and if you pull it a little bit to the to the point you can hollow the bottom perfectly so now it's time to clean the seat holes to to clean that any wire uh, i mean metal wire is perfect or uh, uh, in this case i'm using just a, a very thin allen wrench It's a little bit of, te <clears throat> of tedious job, but it has to be done. And uh, it's a little bit difficult to leave it completely clean. You will see it just in a second. Uh, you have to figure out another way to do that. But Well, once it's sanded, we can use again the tailstock, but without barely no pressure, because uh, I don't trust a lot the material. I don't know. At the end, I had no problem, but uh, it's too flexible. I was thinking the whole process. I was thinking that it can break any moment, but it didn't. So now we work with a detail gouge to establish a transition in between the cup and the stem. And now this is my my small roughing gouge, which is very useful. It's very very sharp. It's a D-way tool that works really good <clears throat> okay and then a little bit of sanding once you have the, the shape you want as I said at the end the result was that the material is more r resistant you know it's more tough that I thought but it's very flexible and it makes me a little bit nervous right so but it works well no problem here we go again a little bit more shaping And the base, I like to, to establish it as close as possible in diameter than the, the cup on the top, you know, so same, same size, let's say. Now, sanding time again. For the final sanding, I'm going to show you a closer look of the holes. There you have it. So you can see that there remains uh, small pieces and you see how flexible is this. So, mm, I mean, I, I want to sand it again in the inside to try to clean that holes a little bit more. So I'm using my my left hand with a, with a glove as support to don't push a lot, but it didn't work. I suppose I had to do that before establish the stem I didn't trust the piece too much so I think next time will be a little bit better but uh, nothing to do I mean I don't want to break it so I cannot do anything I cannot do much more so now what I'm gonna do is finally begin the cut of the base but I'm not gonna cut it at all completely because I'm going to 
varnish or lacquer the piece on the lathe. I'm gonna drop down the, the RPMs as the minimum, which is about 100 RPMs, and I'm going to uh, varnish it there. Uh, a little bit of air with a compressor, clean the area, and I'm gonna let's see. <clears throat> then the material absorb the, the lacquer very quickly, so I, I I give it at least five coats. But the result is very beautiful. As you, I'm gonna give you some steals right now. There you have it. It's really, it's a different material and looks very good. So I hope you like it. If you didn't yet, please subscribe. And uh, if you have any comments, just leave them down below. I will be glad to answer all of them. So I hope we will see us next week. Bye bye.